I heard this word saging a few months ago in the online Jigong Dojo, or academy that I'm a part of, that is run by Tristan and Sabrina Truscott. And they talked about the fact that we all are aging. There's nothing we can do about that. It just happens. But we can choose to sage or to grow wiser in the process. Now, this isn't a new concept. I'm sure there are probably books written on the subject. But somehow, hearing it that way really sparked something within me. I really liked that idea of becoming a sage or a wise person. And I added the word gracefully because that is the ideal that I have set for myself, one of them, um, to go through life with more grace. And I knew in my mind what it meant, but I was curious what the actual definition of grace is. And when I looked it up, I read, simple elegance or refinement of movement. And I really love that idea of refining our movements. And I've often referred to life and different aspects of it as the dance that we do. We do a dance with the divine or a dance with one another. And we know that to be a good dancer, you, you must have a lot of grace. And so we can hold this as kind of our ar archetype of how we can grow wiser in a refined way. Well, wisdom can take many forms, as indeed we manifest ourselves out in the world in different ways. We have our outer physical body with which we need to learn to make wise choices. We have our etheric or energy body and we can do things to help increase that energy or uplift it. We have our astral or emotional body which we can kind of tie to our emotions and how we express ourselves that way. And then our mental body and we can kind of connect that with our mind and our, our thought processes. And then our soul, or what I'll call today our spiritual body, and that would be sort of uh, symbolizing all of the, the spiritual connections that we make with the divine and how we can bring that more into our life. 